Hi, I'm Dave from the Burp Standard Development Team, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about GraphQL introspection in Burp Suite Crawler. The GraphQL APIs are becoming more popular, and like any uh, evolving technology, Burp Crawler has to continually improve its understanding of them. Like any traffic that happens while crawling, anything that the application performs is automatically captured by Burp Suite Crawler. However, there may, may be uh, functions that are possible using the GraphQL API that aren't already performed by the application. This is where introspection comes in. An introspection query is a way of asking a GraphQL API to describe its schema so that we can find if there are more operations available via the API that have not yet been performed by the application. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use one of uh, Portswigger's free web security labs that allows us to use a GraphQL API to access a private post that we're not supposed to have access to. So let's jump into Burp Suite. Over here in the Prox browser, I have the uh, Academy Lab open. And as soon as we load the page with the network tab, we can see that there is a request to something that looks like a GraphQL API. It's got GraphQL in the name, and so that looks pretty pretty likely to be a GraphQL API to us. So if we want to crawl of this um, lab, and just let that go, um, what will happen is that as we reach the end of the crawl, we will start uh, identifying potential GraphQL operations that we can perform on the lab. So just let the crawl run through for a second. Uh, there we go, cool. So as you can see from the crawl pass view, Burp Suite has automatically realized that there was GraphQL traffic naturally occurring during the crawl, and it has performed an introspection query to try and get the uh, GraphQL API to identify its functions. It's identified two functions, the first being get blog post and the second being get all blog posts. And you can see that the crawler has automatically sent a request to try and exercise those GraphQL functions. Um, from the second response that we have here, we can see that the get all blog posts return us a list with uh, IDs 5, 4, 1, and 2. But interestingly, blog post number 3 is missing. So if we take the request for blog post 3, and send that off to repeater and replace the automatically generated value that Burp Crawler came up with, with number three, we can immediately see that we can access a blog post that wasn't listed by the API. And if we take this password that was given to us in the, uh, in the response and submit that as the solution for the lab, we can see that we've solved the lab. So this is a really uh, useful way of using Burp Crawler to identify operations that might not immediately be apparent when using an application, but um, could re result in some new attack surface and potentially reveal some bugs. We're actively looking at ways to improve the tooling for GraphQL support in Burp Suite, but for now, give it a try and let us know if you have any feedback.